My name is Stephen Cook. I'm the host of Inlight Radio program at the moment for this year, Lift Your Spirit, and last year the weekly series, The Light Agenda, and I'm also news editor of The Golden Age of Gaia. So if you hadn't heard of The Golden Age of Gaia, go and check it out online. It's a great website for not only channel messages, but also news about the ascension and everything else that's happening. Now today we're gathered here at the creation or the co-creation center in Crow's Nest for a very special afternoon. It is a soul-inspiring afternoon with Blossom Goodshot along with White Cloud and the Federation of Light. Now, for those who don't know, White Cloud is Blossom's Native American spirit guide, and she has been communicating with him now for approximately 14 years. You're going to hear the story of how they met, how they became friends, how he then started telling her what she needed to do for him and for the world, and you're also going to meet him today. And having experienced White Cloud myself, it is an extraordinary, um, I suppose, process and also an amazing experience itself to literally be in the presence. So how many of you, may I ask, have seen direct voice channeling before? Quite a lot of you. I'll go then. No? <laughs> no. Okay, that's cool, because I know I used to do readings for people as well, and some people were very... I could see grown men shake, literally, before he came through because they just didn't know what to expect. But the minute he starts speaking, then everybody just begins to slow down. Now, what has White Cloud brought forth in wisdom? Basically, he has taught me and those who know um, and have, you know, know him well, those who live near me, and we've had many meetings over the years, he has just taught us a different way to live. He's taught us not to judge people, which I don't know about you, but I find that quite hard. <laughs> I really do find that quite hard. I can see somebody walk past and I think, ooh, what are you wearing that for? You know, I do, my head automatically thinks, lovely, that really is not your thing, really. You know, and I go, well, sure, it's none of your business, does it matter? Is it, you know, who cares? And if that person likes it, how lovely, you know, how lovely. But me, I'm like, oh, and, and, or just, it could be so many things, you know, the way people behave sometimes, and you think, really, that's not very appropriate. But then he has taught us to just take away the physicality of people and just see them as the light that they are, because then we would see and feel very differently about so many people. And what they teach us is about this feeling these days. It is about coming from your heart. Very warm welcome to each one of you and I am always very aware these days that it would be most unfair for you to be looking at me and me although I can't see you with Blossom's eyes closed it would be nice also for me to see you in the human form through Blossom's eyes. So it just takes a little moment for the adjustment to take place. And a little moment more for me to bring my level down and all shall be well. Welcome, my friends. So I would say that as you rise within the feeling of your heart, as your heart expands in love for yourself, first of all. Love for yourself, first and foremost, that is most important. 
Because unless you can love yourself in fullness, how can you send that love out to the world? And just a little uh, note about the Federation of Light. Blossom has only ever channeled the Federation of Light once before directly. The way she normally works, and she'll tell you all a little bit about this, is she actually just does automatic writing with the Federation of Light. So the first time she ever attempted to do what she will be doing this afternoon was at the 2012 Scenario Conference in Sedona last year, and I know that Jane and Phil were there, and uh, Angeline as well, and a couple of other people, and for those of us that were in Sedona, it was a phenomenal experience, and uh, one of the things that happened is that I don't know whether you noticed with Blossom when she was talking with, oh, sorry, when White Cloud was coming through, I should say, her eyes changed colour. <coughs> the Federation of Light, and I won't give it away, is a very different experience altogether. So I'd be interested to see how you all find the Federation coming through because I know that I saw something that I was not expecting in Sedona at all and I remember one of the members of the audience stood up afterwards and said what they'd seen and suddenly we realised that a lot of people had seen the same thing. So I'm not going to give that away. That gives you something to look forward to. So please welcome Blossom back. Blossom, good job. Uh, with a lot of stick from a lot of people, might I say. I mean, I've had people saying I'm channeling the devil. I, you know, I cannot tell you what I've been through on that side of things, but I don't want to focus on that side. I carried on with their messages. And their messages come through that are so... Same as White Cloud, what are they full of? Love. That's, that's what they're going about, full of love. They talk about different things, if I ask a question now and then, but in general, it is all about the same that we've talked about already today, finding out, be yourself, and find that love inside yourself of who you are and become it. I mean, it's the same, I could just repeat, <laughs> I could do a rebound of what I did with White Cloud, say the same thing, because basically that is what they are saying. That is what they come through to tell us. They talk about, and we would, I know Stephen said about the event, and they have said, um, and a lot of people thought the event was going to happen then, and they still talk about this event that is going to happen, and that when it does, it will be a sort of major awakening for those who are asleep. Not everybody, because again, it's choice. But it will look, for those who are already awake, then it will be just a further awakening and we will feel things very differently and see things very differently. And now for the second time, hopefully, I'm going to bring them through to speak. When I was just out there tuning, tuning in, I was in the chair and I stood up and I went, oh, 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 I think they're ready, so I hope they are because um, Otherwise, we're doomed, Captain Mannery, aren't we, really, for the, <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon? Okay. Can everybody, I'm not being funny, look at me, look at me, but can everybody, look at me, look at me, but can, can everybody sort of see? Because I do think it's not, you know, you don't want to come here and see the back of somebody's head, really. You really want to see what the, the Federation are, are doing. So, I'll just do what I did before and see what happens. And I would ask if you would be so kind just to send your love to me and the Federation and send your energy just to um, you know, keep it all, all good. We don't want you know, somebody untoward, not that they ever would. Uh, Auntie Flo or somebody popping in. <laughs> no, get off, I want the Federation of Light. Go and get them. <laughs> oh dear, right, okay. So we'll just, we'll see what happens. 